Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over two ways on how to set up your phone as a document camera on the Zoom application. Before I begin, give this video a like, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And remember, I'll be doing a giveaway of two Amazon gift cards once I reach 2,000 subscribers. I'm about 50 subscribers away, so make sure you enter. Should be there in about a couple of days, or maybe a week. Um, so end of that contest. So today's video on how to use your phone as a document camera. This more or less benefits teachers who are doing remote learning this year for the school year and they don't have a document camera. Um, a document camera would be something to show your students worksheets, or homework, or maybe textbooks, um, just to kind of interact with them more. Um, so these are free ways on how to do it. Just a quick disclaimer, this is for this is the MacBook version. If you want me to make a Windows version, let me know in the comments below. But let's get right into it. Hop on your Mac, make sure you have Zoom installed, which I do already. I'll open it up. Um, the other thing is make sure your iPhone is connected to your MacBook via lightning cable, lightning the USB, make sure that's plugged in. Once you're in Zoom, hit on new meeting. You know, we're here, we are with students or whoever in a, in a meeting. So click on share screen right here. From here, we have a couple options. We have whiteboard, iPhone, iPad via AirPlay, and iPhone, iPad via cable. For the first method, I want you to click on iPhone, iPad via cable, because as you can see, it is plugged in. So I want you to click on that one and click on share. So from here, we are sharing. From my iPhone, you may get a pop-up that says enable add-on or extension, just hit yes. And you also will get a message on your phone that says, do you wish to trust, trust this computer? Just hit yes as well. Um, so from here, yes, yeah, so the students can now see what you're sharing. So if you click on the camera application on your phone, you can go around and kind of show your students whatever you want, you know, a remote homework, a textbook, classwork, whatever you want to do, your students will now see it. So that was just method one on how to use your iPhone as a document camera. So I hit stop share. So now method number two is you don't need to use this wire anymore. So you can go ahead and unplug it. Method two is an air server way, um, a free method. So you don't have to download anything. We know we're in Zoom, so we're gonna do this again. Just click on share screen. Click on iPhone, iPad via AirPlay and just hit share. So this is gonna pop up, it's gonna tell you what to do depending on how old your iPhone is or how old or updated your software is on your iPhone. It's gonna tell you what to do. For me, I'm gonna swipe from the top down, hit on screen mirroring, and then hit on zoom. And I'll show you the steps that I did. So here we are, same thing, now we're basically zoom air serving without any wires. I'm unplugged here. So to do it this way, for me, I pulled from the top. I pulled from the top, went down, click on this zoom. See where it says zoom Matthews MacBook? I click on that and I'm already on it. But for you, if you brought it down, you would see a couple options. It would say zoom, whatever the name of your MacBook is and just click on it and you're good to go. Same thing, it may ask you to in, enable an extension, start extension, um, but just hit OK and you'll be good. But yeah, so same thing, I'll bring it up here. Now the students can see anything on my phone. If I go to the camera app, I can now do the same thing and use this phone as a document camera and show students worksheets, homework, whatever it is. And if this works out for you, you might want to get like a little kickstand or a tripod so you can hold your, hold your iPhone up. You don't have to use your hand to make it a little bit easier. So I'll hit stop share. So yeah, so that was pretty much it guys. That was two ways on how to set up your iPhone as a document camera on a MacBook with the Zoom application. If it helped, give it a like. Um, hopefully this helped a lot of teachers out there. Um, experiencing this this crazy school year that we're having 
enter that enter that Amazon gift card, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.